Welcome to a sunny Oakwood. I'm here today to check out why it is the UK's worst theme park. And looking at the car park, I counted 18 cars. Absolutely crazy. I wonder how many of those are staff members as well. I'll be going around the park there and looking at all of the improvements the park could make. And not only that, I'm going to be heading towards Megaphobia and checking out the retrack updates. I can't wait to see what they've done. As always, I'm going to put in a 2023 merch as well and show you what's available this year. So join me on this lovely day and I'll show you why Oakwood is the worst theme park in the UK. Now when you enter Oakwood, you have this nice little train station here that takes you to the park entrance. I prefer to walk over, so see you over there. No exaggeration or lie, but I'm pretty much the only one in the park at the moment. I'm going to spin the camera around. You've got the Megaphobia shop over there and I'm heading down to Megaphobia to check out those construction updates. You look at this, you've got the staff members down there. Absolutely no one around. And we've made it over to Megaphobia. Lots of activity going around, around here. Yeah, they've blocked off certain areas of the park, which is crazy. Made it over to Megaphobia then. Let's have a look what we can see. The train's inside the station, just there. And I'm going to show you the first drop. Now the rain is absolutely chucking it down. I'll just give you a little zip zoom in here. You can see all the track replacement work going on. Just inside there. Literally like a ghost town in here today. Look at that there. Years ago, Megaphobia used to be a fantastic coaster, but not anymore. Unfortunately, my last couple of visits to Oakwood resulted in me being bashed around on Megaphobia and bruised all over. That first drop is absolutely unbearable. You get shaken everywhere, bashed around from side to side, and that is why they're doing retrack on this iconic coaster. Now, I love a wooden roller coaster, but unfortunately for me, Megaphobia was unrideable, as I said, and hopefully after this investment is put in from Oakwood, this will bring back the glory days of this wooden roller coaster because I can't wait to get back on this and go on it again and again and enjoy every bit of the coaster again. Because in the past, you could just go on there and enjoy it. Lately, once or twice, game over. <laughs> over at the boating lake. Deserted boats over here and a better angle of some of the retrack work being taken place just over here only on theme park top 10 let's ride them well having a ride on the boats now and look at this zooming in there the new track doesn't it look great good job Oakwood Construction updates there from Megaphobia. Now the name of this video is why is Oakwood rated the worst theme park in the UK and this type of thing is why. We're in late May now and the park has all of its signature attractions closed and that's just the start of it. I mean where else in the UK would you go late May and find this type of thing? Deserted rides. All they've got open is a few kiddie rides. Everywhere else opens late March, early April. Absolutely crazy around here. Over at Waterfall now, you get absolutely soaked on this. The only people around here, well not people, are these ducks just over here. Walking around, they must have access like me. Look here, absolutely drained, no one around. At least I'm not getting soaked on this, but I'm getting soaked because of the weather. Over at the pirate ship now. This ship has sailed around here. Well, for now anyway. Only me here. Danger. Ride area, keep out. I won't be going in there. Pirate ship. Lovely. It's like an absolute ghost town around here. Look at this. 
So you're probably thinking, what am I doing backstage here, looking at all of these rides closed? I did ask a staff member, whether I could take a couple of shots, and he said, yep, yeah, that'll be fine, as long as you can get around quick and do that, and not go in any of the rides. As you can see, I haven't gone on any of the rides, and I'm not going to. Just thought I'd show you around this part, and show you what it's like when the area's closed. Now recently this has had lots of work done to it but I've heard it's still having a lot of problems, it's down quite a lot. You would have thought they would have sorted it out by now. Still only me down here. Anyway, let's get around the park and let's see what's actually available today. Here we go, closer view, we've got the lake here completely deserted and then another shot of megaphobia just over here look at this all deserted around here megaphobia let's get around the park and show you some more updates it's a shame that speed isn't in action today it's a really fun forceful coaster with one of the slowest lift hills. Such a shame. Here we go then, the park is so quiet that the staff are going on. Whee! Enjoying life. So what is actually available at the end of May? Well the bobsleighers. And what, look at this. We actually have a queue now. Wow. The rain stopped and I can actually get on a ride. Can't wait to get on the bobsleigh again, I quite like it. Not one of the best bobsleighs out there, but it's better than nothing. And I don't think I'll be jumping that queue today. I hate queue jumpers. Just got off the bobsleigh. Uh, one of the worst rides I've ever had on a bobsleigh, not gonna lie. Um, it's not due to the ride, uh, the ride was quite decent, but halfway down someone broke really sharply around the corner and I couldn't see it when I was coming round. I had to brake like crazy and I went into the back of the person slightly as well because they literally broke just round the corner randomly um, and I couldn't see that until I actually got round the corner as I just said. So yeah, not the best. Um, they're running, obviously there's not too many people in here and they're not leaving big enough gaps so when you do come around those corners it's quite dangerous, especially if there's kids on there as well. Um, so I'm surprised the woman at the top didn't leave a little bit of a bigger gap to be honest, but yeah. As you can see in the distance, Dizzy Disc is also available. I won't be going on that today though. I'm going to take you in Neverland and let's see what I can find. We have a nice little stage area here with lots of picnic benches to enjoy your picnic on. Oakwood isn't known for its theming, but what they've done in Neverland looks really good. I mean, look at these facade buildings here. It's like walking around an almost complete ghost town around here. Neverland chase. Just going there, very slow in the wind. No one around to go on it. And on top of that we have Sky Rock Log Flume here. It looks pretty impressive. <laughs> Who wants to go on a log flume on a day like this? I'll never know. If you come to the back of Crocodile Coaster you'll get some awesome views of speed. Not only that, megaphobia in the distance just over there. I'll give you a bit of a zoom in at speed. It's really intense, really fun, but as I said earlier, one of the slowest lift hills going. Crocodile Coaster is sitting empty today. Now these people here are loving that log flume, they've been on it four times since I've been, a, been here. Not been here. Absolutely crazy, they must be absolutely soaked. Rather them than me. Now if Oakwood go with this type of theme in round here, then they won't be the worst rated theme park in the UK. You need to add this to other sections of the park. Having said that, this lamppost is a little bit wobbly. Sort it out, Oakwood, come on. Now let's have a chat as to why this is the worst theme park in the UK. 
you can't really say one thing about the park there's lots of things including killer bees on the loose in the hot weather now when you're eating your food I mean if you call it food it's terrible come on Oakwood um, they land on your food and if you don't tell them to buzz off they'll stay there and they'll buzz around all day it's just a shame that Oakwood doesn't really create a real buzz on TripAdvisor anymore as I said earlier Oakwood doesn't have bags of money to spend around the park unfortunately if they could just have a general tidy up around the park it'd make the park so much better some more flowers in, better landscaping, better theming, better everything. Now what I've seen from Oakwood today is closed rides, closed everything and that's not a good impression at the end of May. I have been told by a couple of the staff members here though that they are trying to get all of the rides open as soon as possible. With the summer holidays coming up and everything, that will be open. If you like flying, that really is a good upcharge attraction. But when you come to a theme park and already pay, you don't really always want to do those upcharge attractions. So let's get over to the other section of the park and show you what's available. Let me show you some of the events taking place soon at Oakwood. Starting off at October 1st, 30th of September to the 1st of October. And if you like Halloween, they've got Spook Tackler here. 21st, 22nd and 28th of October to the 3rd of November. And finishing off the season with a fireworks spectacular 4th and 5th of November. If you're going to visit Oakwood, I highly recommend visiting this event, it's very good. I headed over to the other side of the park that's available now. You've got Witch's Brew that's available and you've got Creepy Crawler that's also available. The only roller coaster that's available here today. Here we go, we've got nice pumpkin theme in around here. Let's go and have a ride on the only operating roller coaster in here. Creepy Crawler. Here we go, waiting for Creepy Crawler now. Just me here. Just got off Creepy Crawler then, I'll give you my review. Is that a back row ride then on Creepy Crawler? Yeah, I've been on that coaster before. It's not the best to say the least, um, but what kills that coaster is the sharp braking at the end. It really does crush your knee. When you're going, going into that brake run, it literally crushes your knee. My knee was crushed. I said that like three times now, but yeah, it was crushed. Uh, I mean, yeah, what can I say really? Get rid of it. I'm going to go into the gift shop now and show you what merch is available. You've got your Oakwood lanyards here for £3 if you're a fan of those. Or you can get yourself a nice Megaphobia hat for £15. And if you love Creepy Crawl as much as I do, get yourself one of these. Or maybe not. Get a Megaphobia one, or maybe not on that either before the retrap happens. Get yourself a speed one. It's actually a decent close to speed. So that was probably one of the shortest merch videos I've ever done. And the reason for that is the whole shops get them revamped in there for 2023. And they're gonna have lots of theming in there, the woman said. Lots of branded merchandise, which is good to see. So I can't wait to check that out. And that was Oakwood. Yeah, you can see why this has got the worst theme park reviews on TripAdvisor for any theme park in the UK. It's not hard to see why. So what are my thoughts on the park at the moment? Complete and utter chaos. Oakwood have had almost six months to get these rides together since their last event and the park closing. So there really is no excuse not to have a few more rides open. Some of the rides are undergoing maintenance work, like Megaphobia Retrack, and I, I can understand why that roller coaster is not open, but to have as many rides shut as they do at the moment is not really acceptable in my opinion. I've been on two rides today, but that was advertised on their website what was available. As you can see, all of the thrill rides were. It's the fact that it's towards the end of May and all of the rides are closed. I mean, where else in the world would you get this towards the end of May? Such a sorry sight here for Oakwood. Now we all know families aren't going to want to spend lots of money to come to a park with not many rides available. Then I don't want to be drenched and not everyone else does, so that's why it's drained. Oakwood could put in a lot of themed areas, along with that you can install lots of flowers, planting to make the park a lot more presentable. Now you're probably thinking with all the moaning that I've been doing on this vlog that I wouldn't ever come back to Oakwood, where well, you're wrong. When Megaphobia reopens, I highly recommend coming down here and checking it out. Will it be as good as it was years ago? Who knows? You'll have to come down here just to check that out. Oakwood have speed, they have Megaphobia, the list goes on, so it's not like they have terrible rides here. 
I'm gonna put it out there. Speed is my favorite coaster in Wales at the moment, so it's worth coming down for that too. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and subscribe. It really does help the channel grow, and I'll see you in the next Theme Park Top 10 video. Let's get on some rides. Well, let's not. Let's ride around. Woo! Uh, do you think you are? Do you think you are? I said, uh, Oh, cool, is not a superstar. I said it's too late to apologize. Oakwood, it's too late.